And here's a list of the acids that will also appear from time to time. The first three are the most important, nitric acid, sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid, because you're going to come across the, them in the lab uh, over and over again. But you will also encounter the others, whether just in theory, like hydrofluoric acid, which is too dangerous for us to handle, or also in practice, like carbonic acid, which is what's in soda water. So they're worth knowing. Make sure you can write the formula from the name and know the name just by looking at the formula. It's worth noting if that if you were giving them names according to the patterns you've already learnt, you'd probably call nitric acid hydrogen nitrate and sulfuric acid hydrogen sulfate. This is the most common error that people make in naming acids and the reason it's frowned upon is that the properties of acids in particular are so distinctive and so important that their names need to indicate that they're acids. Uh, so here's a quick task uh, to test your memorization. Fill in the blanks in the table where there are names and formulae missing. And if you've got the inclination as a quick research task for you, find out the origin of ammonia's name. You can do this by Googling. Uh, it's not, uh, it doesn't follow the normal naming conventions. It's an old historical name and it's got quite an interesting etymology.